up and never give up. That's right. What's up guys, Coach Jeremy here. In this video, we are building a sport court and I am using the Ultra Base system. There's a lot of different ways that you can build your own sport court. I'm focusing on the Ultra Base system in this one, but I will do another video showing you how to build a sport court and I'll cover the asphalt and the concrete and what your options are. I chose this because it's uh, water permeable. It's got a little bit more give to it and when you're running and jumping, a little easier on the shins and the feet. And I liked it better for this area because uh, it would have taken a lot to get concrete pumped down here. This, you put it on a skid, Got some back there. We just pick it up and lay it down, and then I can put Hayden to work. So, speaking of work, let's get to it. First, let me show you what we're working with. Come on. So, over here we got the uh, the fire pit. What we're doing is we're squaring the rink to that fire pit, so everything's nice and centered in the yard. We're gonna start with some tiles right down here. You can see we got the string line going along. That's just to give us a reference so the rink doesn't end up all wonky, crooked. You know what I'm saying. So all I'm doing here is setting up some stakes. I got the string line right below that camera. Now I'm gonna pull this across. And the whole idea is to get this right here perfectly square. And that just gives us something really easy to reference off when we're laying down the tiles to make sure it looks good. Oh, look at this. We're gonna line it up right there. Tell me if I'm wrong, does the sun cast a square shadow? Of course, we're not just using the sun, we're gonna use a three, four, five measurement technique. That's something I learned in high school. Um, a squared plus B squared equals C squared, is that it? Is that right, Pythagorean theorem? So we've got the outline of the rink, we know it's gonna be centered and squared, and now we've got this geotextile fabric that we're gonna lay down first, there we go. <laughs> this is uh, 70 feet long and 15 feet wide, so we're gonna put down two of these. Um, Right here is a good place to start. I figure, because uh, we're going 60 feet, so we're going to have some extra. i uh, give myself 10 feet extra. Now we unwrap the bed sheets. Yay. Yeah. There you go. That was good. We should probably talk about what you have to do before you put these tiles down. You can't have a lumpy yard or a slanted yard. So first I had this whole place leveled and then we brought in a compactable screening material. So this is something that you can tamp down. It compacts really well and it pretty much gets as hard as concrete, nice and level. What you do after that is you put a bit of sand across and then we put the fabric down and now we're gonna lay those tiles down. That makes sure you get a nice hard surface. It's not gonna wash away. You're not gonna end up with a base that's like a bouncy castle with hills and dips and all that stuff. You want a nice hard surface to put these tiles down. And now it's time to put the ultra base tiles down. These things snap together. They are nice and thick. They're kind of like, whoa, they're uh, a bit of a rubbery, kind of flexible material. And you can see on the bottom, they got that honeycomb structure. So it's going to uh, stick into the ground. We're gonna start in the middle, work our way out so we are centered to this fire pit. After this, we're gonna get a How To Hockey logo right in the middle, so we don't want that a few inches to the left or right, just so it's aesthetically pleasing. We've marked center, uh, very precision. We have a, a rock there, and we're actually gonna start right here with the edge pieces, just to give us a reference, build out, and then work off of that. <laughs> Nice, like honestly, just walking Feels on it. Feels a little it, like, springy. Yeah, it's got some give to it. This is gonna be you so look much. Like your joints aren't as sore doing sand on those. <laughs> Was this an infomercial? <laughs> <laughs> These hips don't lie, man. We got the kids involved in this project. If they're gonna play on the court, they're gonna build the court too. You gotta teach that young man. Work hard, play hard. Ah, uh, this is the life. Nice and relaxing. Right here, Olivia. Where are they going to be done that sport court? Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. These are uh, pretty nice to install. Start like this, I fold it up, find them to match up. And you can kind of hear them click in right there. So I've laid them butting right up against. So I'm actually going to pull it away. And that just allows them to expand and contract based on when it's hot and cold. And then they won't heat up.
tell you that sun is hot. How you feeling, Scott? Like you said, it's hot. <laughs> Work hard, play hard. If you keep on working hard, I'll keep on playing hard. <laughs> <laughs> the most important step to installing the tiles is having a neighbor who will work for free. Or work for beer. And uh, make the kids do all the work for gummy bears. Here's Hayden, made in the shade. I saw him hiding over there drinking from his water. Oh. <laughs> Water's for closers. Maybe just uh, put the camera on the tripod. <laughs> Unless you can find a tripod that can put these tiles in for us. <laughs> you isn't it you? <laughs> How else are you supposed to stay up on the ice, Hayden? <laughs> Hey, what's with all this? Trying to get some good audio here, man. We're out here trying to get some work done, and this guy's just playing with his toys. They brought their toys with them. Jeez. I'm out here doing all the work, sweating in this hot sun. Come on, Sammy, get to work. What are you just standing there? No, I'm pregnant. Eight I'm months? Let's, come on, you're only eight months. Let's Supervising. Go. Supervising. <laughs> Olivia, have you been working hard or hardly working? Is that you, Olivia? No, that's you. <laughs> that's right, pass the blame, like I always taught you. <laughs> Rocky's never admitted. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's our saying. Olivia, what do we always say? Rocky, never give up. That's right. Let's show you the technique in case you're setting up this exact same system. If you do, don't forget to use the coupon code. I'm gonna set you guys up. Check the, check the uh, description. video description. Thanks. <laughs> you're gonna shake and shimmy in there until you got her butted up there and there. Pull back, there we go. We're set in this place. This little gap here. And rip it. Yeah, we're at 28.4. So you got one more for 30 feet? Yeah, it'll be over the, over the. We're gonna get weed, Sammy's gonna be so angry. <laughs> oh no. I didn't want to hit Scott, he's doing all the work. Oh, that was a good one. Thank you, Aiden. Stop! Hammer time. Hammer. It's hammer, go hammer, it's hammer, yo hammer, and the rest can go in play. I can't touch this. Here we go, we got the final piece going in, ready for the big reveal. Come on, I'm, I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited, ready? That's it. Take a look, the sport court is complete. I'm excited. I got the hockey nets down here. Are you ready after five yeah. hours? Do you want to do 10,000 shots now? <laughs> I absolutely love how this turned out. The ultra base system went down really easily, but we're just getting started here. These tiles from Hockey Shot are on the way and we're gonna put it on top of this. But I'm just gonna give you a quick look. It's nice and level, there's no lips. It clipped together, a hockey puck slides across here. They do have a bit of a rubbery feel to them, so it's a bit more grippy, but I mean, you can play any sport down here. Basketball nets, boom, nailed it. You can do tennis, pickleball. Hit that subscribe button because we have a bunch of new videos coming your way. We've been working on a lot down here. We've been building an A-frame. We got a deck to hang out on. We got a little cabin. We're probably gonna sleep in this in the winter time, giving you that ultimate ODR lifestyle. We're down here in the winter time. We're doing soap hockey in the summer. Always something going on. So hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video. It's like, the noise of a job well done, you know what I'm saying? The finishing touch. The finishing.